In this demonstration, we're going to run Simple Index for the first time and go through one of the sample configurations that comes with the demo. So, when you install Simple Index, you have uh, these four icons on your desktop for Simple Index, Simple Cover Sheet, QC, and Send. Just run Simple Index, and when uh, you first pull it up, you're going to get the uh, demo registration screen as well as the Simple Guide. And here they are. The simple guide, the getting started guide, will uh, take you through a step-by-step -step process of pretty much exactly what we are doing here. So we're going to exit that and click full demo to get into the simple index demo. Now when you run simple index, it automatically takes you into the open configuration screen because no matter what, when you're if you're a user of Simple, Simple Index and you're going to scan some documents, you need to open a configuration first. So that's part of the Simple Index design philosophy is that if you're going to click open the first thing every time you run the program, why not have that automated for you? Why not do that automatically? And so that's why the open screen appears at this time. We have uh, two sets of sample configurations. We have invoice processing and document sorting. The invoice processing contains several different kinds of documents and processes by which those documents are indexed. The read invoices with Zone OCR is a great place to start. It really lets you see how the OCR function works in real time. Now, when you, after you open a configuration, you're brought to the main simple index screen. Over here on your right hand side you have the index fields that you are going to identify these documents with. And to get started all you have to do is just click this run job button. And then the sample images are automatically imported. If this was a scanning configuration, scanning would take place at this time. And then the images are processed automatically after they're brought in. And you can see the index fields being recognized over here on the right hand side as it's going along. And this is using Zone OCR with the template and dictionary matching features. So you can see how large the zones have been drawn. They're way larger than the account number, order number, and company name field actually are. But we're using a template and dictionary to pull just the information that we want out of those fields. So for the account number we use the template that said we are looking for a seven digit number and for the order number we were looking for a six digit number and for the company name we had a list of all the all of our vendors here that we do business with and for the dictionary lookup it compares the recognized text to each value in the list until it finds a match and so by doing that we compensate for any kind of skew or distortion in, in various scanned images that because you never actually have the same image lined up in exactly the same place every time which is what usually thwarts zone OCR as an automated indexing solution so by combining the template and dictionary matching we're able to get perfect result after you run your batch you have to click save index on each image in order to save the values and advance to the next one in this example all the values were read with OCR so it, the save index isn't isn't quite as important but normally just by using the page and document navigation buttons your changes aren't actually saved they're only saved when you hit save index so if I change this field and click off of it and go back you notice the changes weren't saved but if I click Save Index and go back, now it is saved. Save Index is also the default button on the screen, so you can click Enter, and that's the same thing as clicking Save Index. And that makes it very easy for, the, for data entry operators to very quickly make edits or additions to the index field values and just hit Enter and never have to take the, their hands off the keyboard. There's also keyboard shortcuts for virtually every command in Simple Index. So the indexing operator should never have to lift their hands from the keyboard. Back here we saw a uh, page that was marked for deletion. Uh, that's what the big X stands for. 
Simple Index has the capability to automatically delete blank pages based on the file size. And so that's what this page is. And when you get to the last file in the batch and click Save Index, this comes up. All files have been indexed. Do you want to release this batch? So that's part, once again, part of the automation process. Simple Index knows that as soon as you index the last file in the batch, the next step is to export that batch. So why not automatically prompt the user to go directly into the export instead of having them have to go into the job menu and say export. So by clicking yes here, the files are automatically exported to the output folder. And we can say view output folder, and there are the files. And they've been named according to the account number and company name specified in the demo.